Guys, I have a confession to make. I have a very, very big Bush. Reggie Bush, that is, all the way back on NCAA Football 2007. Cover athlete was Reggie Bush, and I thought, what better than today to make a mega Bush at 6'10", 220 pounds. We're gonna see what type of damage a huge Bush can do in NCAA Football 07. As you see, it is a 99 overall with 99 speed, 99 agility, 99 acceleration, 99 elusiveness, 95 juke. This guy is going to be an absolute mammoth on the field today. It's not going to lie, this NCAA Football 07 was one of my favorites that they've ever made. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what your favorite NCAA Football of all time was. And this game had some pretty fun things about it. Like, they had mini games. They had freaking bowling. They had god dang bowling in the NCAA football game. Tug of War and Option Dash. There's some fun mini games. They didn't have Road to Glory at this point. I can't remember what the first year was that they did introduce Road to Glory as a game mode, but obviously they had Dynasty. Pretty much unanimously, one of the greatest game modes in the history of all sports games is Dynasty mode in the NCAA football series. And I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start a dynasty with USC using the Mega Bush. As yes, USC ranked number four in the country in the Pac-10 before it was the Pac-12. So we're going to head into this dynasty. As yes, custom schedule. And I know exactly what to do for today's video. Not only are you be playing with the Mega Bush, with my very, very big bush, we are going to play the all-time classic. USC versus Texas. Obviously, Vince Young wasn't still at Texas at this point, but as mentioned, was one of the all-time classics, and that's what we are going to play today. USC in Texas with the big bush. We are going to advance the start of the regular season. Now, unfortunately, if you guys also have a very big bush, you can fix that by going to manscaped.com and buying yourself the lawnmower. It's the best defensive play out there to combat your big bush. Texas is going to need one today. You can use code RBT to get a big discount at your order at Manscaped. So just in case you're trying to defend against a big bush, there you have it. So all that was in this Dynasty mode you had. In-season recruiting, so you could recruit, was also one of the most fun things about Dynasties and NCAA. See, preseason polls. What was the preseason polls back in the day? In 2007, Ohio State, Texas, Notre Dame, USC. There's no Alabama to be seen. Or West Virginia in the Pat White days. That was a fun team to watch. Cal was up there. Tennessee was up there. Alabama was way down at number 24 in the country. This being the 2006 season, this was actually the year before Nick Saban was hired as the head coach. So this is right before the Alabama dynasty had began. Who was in the Heisman watch here? Heisman watch. This would have been Jimmy Clausen, if I'm not mistaken. Adrian Peterson. This would have been not Terrell Pride. This would have been Troy Smith. This would have been Chris Leak, the quarterback before Tim Tebow in Louisville's quarterback. Brock Braum. Was it Brian Braum? Pretty sure that was the Heisman watch, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was Troy Smith that ultimately ended up winning it for this season. And the recruiting, as mentioned, was one of my favorite things about NCAA football. Just being able to build your entire team through recruiting, getting all the top prospects, finding gyms. That was so god dang fun, dude. But all today is about is the very, very big Bush, USC versus Texas. Let's see if at the Coliseum we can get our revenge and get a huge dub to set off this season against number two Texas. And the Texas here we are, the Coliseum. Hey folks, it's time to put our very Kirk big Kirk bush Kirk on display I today. I can't remember if this is the game. They used to have a game at halftime or in pregame. Lee Corso used to put on the mascot hit like he does on college game day. I don't think this is one. Maybe it had been a little bit earlier. I don't know why they ever took that out because that was an awesome feature. But looks like we're going to play on defense first as momentum. I don't even remember that being a thing in the game. But obviously, we don't have the full rosters here. So it's going to be like the player in the position. And uh, that's a big reason why this game ended up getting taken away because of the likeness. As Corso, look at the man. The beautiful man. They were going to do as Corso all game on defense at least. Because I, uh, I don't remember the meta on NCAA Football 2007. Oh man, look at the pre-play. I, I don't like set. that. I, I'm confused on what to do. Colt McCoy. I remember this man. 
He had to have been a sophomore at this point, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. This would have been his first year starting after Vince Young went into the NFL draft. After the Rose Bowl performance. But let's see. See if we can shut them out. Colt McCoy. Interceptions. No. Wide open receivers. Down to the 40. The running back. Was it Jamal Charles? Yep. I'm a genius. I'm an absolute genius. It was Jamal Charles. I know my college football. You might think I'm a moron. But I'm, I'm pretty good when it comes to college football knowledge. But with that said, we're going to shut down Jamal Charles today. We're going to get a huge win. It's going to be all Reggie Bush winning at the running back position in today's video. Time to get Texas off the field so we can put big 6'10 Reggie Bush on display at the running back position. There you run this ball with Jamal Charles. We're going to throw the football. Tight end. Stupid. Little dump off for the first down. Fumble! Let's go, Jamal Charles. A fumble on this first drive, and our players are running in unison. But with that said, we get the ball back. Jamal Charles definitely going to be on the losing end of the running back battle today. As now it's time to begin our journey with our big bush. Our very big bush. 6'10", Reggie Bush? That's not Reggie. Where's Reggie? There we are. Why wasn't he the starter? Scared me. Oh, there he is. Big old Reginald Jr. Bush running, trucking over defenders. That's going to be four yards. Now, unfortunately, we do have to throw the ball here with Mr. I believe this was Matt Leinart. I don't think he was. I don't think he had entered the NFL draft before this. No, it's definitely not Matt Leinart. We have an open receiver, though. That's uh, that's not who I was throwing the ball to, but it was effective. That's all that matters. Was this John David Booty? I, I guess Matt Leinart did enter the NFL draft. So this was, I think, John David Booty. Reggie Bush went over this poor man. God dang. Well, here we are, third down and 15. The post is open. The dot. He dropped it. No. Here we are, another third down in short time for this defense to make Jamal Lewis look like a moronic moron here. Just about to be already the end of the first quarter. I mean, a short little pass. No way they catch this, or maybe they do. Come on, interception. Thank you, free safety number four. Is that Taylor Mays? Might have been Taylor Mays. I don't know. I just know free safety number four, my best friend, got the interception. Now it's time for Texas to finally feel the wrath of the big bush. Come on, Reginald. We have the space. Reginald, there we are. Reginald! Oh! So, um, that definitely was not the truck button. Like how Corso's calling a Hail Mary. On a third down and nine from the 34-yard line. Not, not, not the most optimal call here. We're going to try to pick up this first down regardless. Let's see. X, I see you open. Maybe not. Well, looks like we're going to be kicking this field goal. Hopefully, at bare minimal, we can take this lead over Texas. Doesn't look like he's going to be as high scoring as the Rose Bowl was. I mean, this is a, this is a relatively long field goal, but we are going to make it. It's going to be short. That's going to... How? Was Mr. Colt not sacked? A fumble again. A fumble again. Pick it up. Pick it up. Number four is a good, good guy. Our second turnover of the game. We're getting achievements out there. That's the only reason I bought this game. To up my gamer score. And to show off my very, very, very big bush. Reggie Bush to the outside. Come on, Reginald. Outrun this man. There he is. The big bush taking off to the end zone. Not even Manscape can stop this one. Touchdown, USC. Look at us. Even more achievements. Eventually, we knew the Big Bush was going to strike. Nothing can keep the Big Bush at bay for too long as USC, number four in the country, takes this lead 7 to nothing. Got to love the Big Bush. 83 yards to the end zone. Touchdown. Trojans. Oh come on! Ah, my user, my user's not, my user's not like it used to be. Come on, another sack, please. There's no way that's. Oh, oh, we are about to have a conversation with the ace. Here we are, Reginald bouncing outside again, breaking tackles. Reginald again to the end zone. 
I'm telling you, boys, the big bush can't be stopped. Diving into the hit. Oh, here we go, getting more achievements. You know what? Let's go for two now. Let's make a mockery of this Longhorn defense. Okay, that time to stop. Put two plays in a row. Reggie Bush, the big bush man, taking the ball to the end zone of the Texas Longhorns. That's going to be another interception. The bloodbath is now going to continue as we are getting achievements left and right. Let's see if we can get this big bush into the end zone one more time. Bouncing it out. We break this tackle. We do break a tackle. Reggie Bush down to the 25. I actually try to throw the football here. Just throw this to the fly around on the outside. Be one-on-one. -on -one. Back of this end zone. Come on, brethren. Touchdown, Trojans. That's halftime here from Los Angeles. USC 20 to 3 lead as it might already be a blowout but we're definitely not going to pull out here I want this to be an absolute bloodbath not again oh my Reginald we got to stop that <laughs> we have got to stop the craziness and I know a draw call and a fourth down and six is kind of ballsy but we got the perfect man for the job Reginald up the middle He's going to get it, and he's going to keep on running. What a man. What a legend. What a big, hairy butch. That's a funny-looking sack. So apparently you can sack the quarterback in this game without actually making physical contact. The last chance to make this some sort of non-markery. Does that even make sense? I don't know. But you, you get what I'm saying. It, it's a blowout. It, it's a very, very big, bushy blowout. There he is again. He's gone. Don't even try. Don't even try. The bush is back for action. The Trojan man strikes as that dude. He has, I think that's easily 300 yards in the game. <laughs> Don't dare score. I'm upset. I, it's just out of instinct to press the button. It's just out of instinct. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Another stop. We still have another chance. We have one more drive, dudes, to get 400 yards. Got to. We got a big bush like this one. You got to do some astronomical. This could be it. And it is going to be it. The bush man breaking all kinds of records. This might actually make it close to 500 yards on the game. When he had a big bush like that, they don't get 400 yards. You need to reassess your own skill set. 31 rushes, 421 yards, 13 and a half yards per carry, and five touchdowns on the day. As it looks like your Trojans kept pounding, pounding the rock all game long. As we're going to come out of here with a 42 to three win over number two Texas. As with this play, that will do it. We officially get the huge 42 to three W over the Texas Longhorns. I mean, technically this was an upset, but whenever you have the big bush on your team, you always should be the favorite. I guess you live and you learn. Even more achievements unlocked. Well, apparently, if you guys want to get a ton of achievements and up your gamers score, if that's what you're about, if that's what you put on your job resume, make sure you go and buy into like Football 07 and get your own big bush, and you'll get any job you want. But with that said, that is going to do it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to see me do any more videos on Instant Play Football 07, I thought maybe doing the bowling game mode would be fun. But let me know if you guys do want to see that. Or if you have any other ideas for stuff you want to see on throwback games, let me know as well in the comments. But with that said, subscribe if you are a new one. Turn on that notification bell if you haven't. Make sure if you thought you did have notifications on, to check. Like, turn them off and turn them back on to make sure you have all notifications. Because they once again changed their system. A lot of you think you have all notifications, but you don't. But just, just check and make sure you got them all on. But with that, catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.